Hi everyone, Carol Brightbill. I want to show you a feature in Google Chrome that you might not be aware of called Google Tab Groups. The reason you'd want to use a Google Tab Group is because it will open tabs that you use all the time and it will help your efficiency during the day and it will help you become more productive. There's a couple things you must do first to make sure that these tab groups work the way that you want them to do. And this is done in the settings. In order to do this, we're going to go to the upper right to the three dot ellipse and we're going to go to our settings. The first thing that you want to do in your settings, you want to go to the appearance and in the parents, you want to make sure that your bookmark bar is turned on. This is where these tab groups will appear in your bookmark bar. The second thing you want to do after you've done this, still in your settings, you want to go to where it says on startup and you want to select continue where you left off. And that's all you need to do in your settings. In order to make your tab groups, you have to have tabs that are currently open. They can be files, they can be URLs, what I'm going to do, I've already opened up some Google files that I use consistently, and these are what I'm going to make my tab groups out of. I'm going to start with Docs, and when you come up to the tab, you want to do a right click, and this is where you want to say Add Tab to New Group, giving this group a name, and I want to give it a color, and this is important. You want to make sure to save this group coming over to the next Google Doc, doing a right click on that tab, and I'm going to add this tab to the Google Docs group. And if you look to the upper left, now it says on the bookmark bar, Google Docs. Let's go to Google Sheets. I'm going to do a right click on this tab, and I'm going to add tab to group, but I'm going to select new group. Calling this Google Sheets. I'm going to make it green, and I'm going to make sure to select Save Group. Next to Do List here, I'm going to do a right click, Add Tab to Group, Google Sheets. And ending with Google Slides, right click, Add Tab to a new group, calling this Google Slides, making it gold. And the last Google Slides, I'm going to do a right click, and I'm going to add it to Google Slides. And I want to make sure that group, let me come in and do a right click. Notice I did not select save group, very important. If I would close out of here, that group would not save. Now that you have your tab groups, what you want to do, you want to click on each one of your tab groups and that will close it. I'm going to close the browser here and I'm going to reload it. And you can see it reloaded the docs where I was at because I had in the settings to open up where I left off. So click in these tab groups again to close them up. But you do have to be careful if I come to this tab group here, the Google Docs, and I close it, it goes away. Same with the sheets. If I click on that and I close these, it goes away. So there are pros and cons to Google tab groups, and it is a manual process where you have to add them to groups. And it doesn't really hold them if you close them like a true bookmark on your bookmark bar but it is another tool in your toolkit to help your efficiency and your productivity during the day. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and have a great day.